Hey guys, Casey Foster here from netcodeguides.com. This is part of the um, CSGO tips and tricks guide we've released. It's kind of just an overall thing um, talking about, you know, getting better at CSGO. Um, it's not rank specific, quality player, or anything specific. It's just for people who are looking to improve. Um, with that said, this is part of the deathmatch um, part of the guide. And I just wanted to talk a bit about deathmatching <clears throat> and how and why it's so important. So first thing is deathmatching does two things. Deathmatching improves your aim and it gets you warmed up. So if you're going to play matches, scrims, or whatever later in the day, you generally want to be warmed up, you know, so that you're not in that warm up process during the beginning of that scrim. You're not going to be very successful. It's not going to be a great time unless you're one of those players that can just jump straight on and be good. Anyway, um, so obviously it gets you warmed up. And the next thing is it improves your aim. That's your main goal in deathmatching. Uh, it's still something that every pro player does to this day. They've been playing this game for 15 years and they still deathmatch to improve their aim because there's always the ability to improve your aim. Um, if your game sense isn't on that day or if your game sense isn't that great, you can always fall back on your aim and get those kills. So the main, the main focus of deathmatching, like I said, is to improve your aim. And I wanted to talk about a few things that revolve around improving your aim. So first thing is people go into um, death matches and they they deathmatch for real crazy kill to death ratios or they deathmatch for crazy headshot percentages. Th this is not something I really recommend. I, th I think, and a lot of other pro players think the same thing, deathmatching, or sorry, Counter-Strike in Counter-Strike, you want to kill the enemy as fast as possible. So if that means shooting a headshot, then do it. If it doesn't mean shooting a headshot and it just means getting some, you know, getting a, 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 a three shot burst in their chest and killing them instantly, then that's what you have to do. Um, Counter-Strike is one of those things that's very situational. You can't apply one type of shooting everywhere across the entire game. You know, in one situation, you may need to burst. In one situation, you may need to spray. In one situation, you may need to one tap. So. That's what you need to go into deathmatch and practice. You need to get yourself into as many gunfights as possible that are in different situations so you can master those different gun uh, fights. You know, if it's a long one, a close one, uh, you have low HP, they have low HP. You, that's what deathmatching does. Is it gets you into a whole bunch of gunfights very quickly, and it helps you know and, and learn what types of shooting to use in different um, situations. Um, the, the thing you'll see me do a lot in this video is I don't really I don't really just one tap I don't really go into death matches and do that some people do some people don't um, I like to go in and shoot like in a death match how I'm gonna shoot in a match like if I see somebody I'm gonna shoot at their head and if I don't hit the headshot I'm gonna pull down and burst two three more bullets in their chest and kill them that's what I'm gonna do in a, in a match um, and the way I practice in a death match is how I'm going to you know expect myself to play in a match so that's what I go into a death match and do um, the, the next thing I want to use Deathmatch as a great example for is um, you can learn from your mistakes in a Deathmatch very quickly, much quicker than you can in a match. So if you get into a gunfight in a match, somebody kills you, there's a million reasons why you could have died. But in a Deathmatch, it's generally speaking, you just don't have as good of aim as that person or you put yourself in a bad situation to get the kill. So I want to talk a little bit about this command here, show POS. Oh. PS1. So you can see here at the top left corner of the screen my velocity and you will pretty much notice that I will never shoot while moving. So right there I you know, was very low or at zero and this is something that a lot of people don't really take much, uh, pay much attention to. I'm actually going to slow this down because I think it's going to end soon. Um, the, the, the reason people die in Counter-Strike 99% of the time is because they made a mistake, but then they have this weird thing in their head where they're like, oh, the server's bad, you know, the game is bad, the guns are inaccurate. Yes, the guns are a little inaccurate, it's already been proven in the video, but if Scream can get 96% headshot percentage in an in, throughout an entire match, the guns work well enough. So with that said, I want people to use this command, CL underscore show POS1, and it shows your velocity. And 99% of the time I see somebody shoot a shot and they say, how did that miss? It's because they were still moving and their bullet was inaccurate. The crosser may have been on them, but the bullet was inaccurate. So I want people to get into the habit of counter strafing. 
you, you and this is something a lot of pros steals made videos about it adrens made videos about it it's where you strafe one way pre, you know pressing your right strafe key to peek out to the right and then you press your left strafe key to stop you very quickly so that your your recoil has reset and you can shoot accurately now it's it's something that takes a long time to master and to practice but once you get it you will understand why it's so deadly it's deadly for two reasons it's deadly because your bullets are going to be accurate and then also when you can shoot and then move and then shoot and then move you can evade the bullets of the bad guy meaning you can dodge their bullets while they're shooting at you you have you know you have time to look away um, the other thing i would like to see people doing is i've i've been smurfing with one of my friends in like lower ranks and i see a lot of you know people with bad crosshair placement that's something that deathmatch just forces you to have or else you're not going to get these kills if your crosshair is not in the right spot generally speaking you know where the bad guy is going to be you are going to die very frequently um and that is pretty much the three most important topics of deathmatching uh, use it to improve your aim, use it to get warmed up, use it to learn why you're not killing people, and then ultimately do it a lot to improve your aim. So this was short and to the point. Um, check out the rest of the guide. I'll put the link in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And that's it from Casey Foster of Netcode Guides. Thanks, guys.